All right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the studio series *Revenge of the Fallen* sideswiped, and overall, um, he's a good figure, and you should get him. So if you just if you don't want to know the details, you just want to know if you should get him. Get him. That's all you should know. Just just get him. But if you want to know more about him, well, that's well then watch the video. Um, so let's take a look at the accessories first. So he's obviously holding his guns, which we'll take a look later. But let's take a look at his most iconic weapons, which are his hand blades that can come out like he uses in the beginning scenes. And they're like they're painted in this nice silver, which is correct, correctly painted with the rest of the figure, so it will match. And the bite's cast in this like dark gray. So how it fits, let's take off that. How it fits is just like this. There's a little slot in the hand. And then you can just slide it in there. And then boom, you have his hand. And then let's take a look as guns now. Hold on, let me just fix this guy. He's kind of hard to stand. No, not really. He's not that hard, actually. It's just, if you try to pose him, sometimes it is. His guns are cast in this, like, grayish-brown color. And they have two barrels. Not blast, blast effect compatible. Uh, so if you're wondering that, that's not the case. And it's just a gun. You can plug it into here. It's nicely detailed. as some nice details. So now that we took a look at that, let's take a look at this, the figure, the main event. So, his head sculpt. Let's, let me show you that. Um, they did a fantastic job with that. I mean, that's really good. Now, I do know that this is a retool of the Dark of the Moon one. But, uh, this is the one I got. He's really detailed, um, nice silver paint. He has a big, kind of big backpack, but it's, it's the Bay verse guys, like, what, what do you expect? It's, it's just kind of their designs. Um, so let's take a look at his articulation, and then we'll take a look at the details. You can do that. You can do that. That. We're just gonna go. That he does have a waist strength, but it's limited by his backpack. I think I got that far. His knee can bend like that. There's this also like a little piston, so it looks like he's he's using it. It's pretty cool detail. So you, you can do that. His kind of shin you can do that. Uh, no ankle joints. Um, head is on a ball joint. These like side these these things can move around, you can make him taller or shorter, just flatter. Just depends. You can alter these too. And yeah, that's it. Okay, it does have thigh swivel, so that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, that's his articulation. And now let's just look at the details. He has that Corvette symbol right on his chest because this is licensed. The red really pops. I like that red. Uh, the silver, very shiny. I like it. Uh, the wheels aren't black. They're that, I could say, like that dark gray. Uh, but the rims are silver. And everything else, silver, gray. He has like greebling all over him. Really nice looking. And obviously you can attach the weapons to them. Now let's get into the transformation.
now that we have finished the vehicle mode transformation, he looks pretty clean. Um, he does have to parts form, so if you don't like that, then I don't know what to say. Like, I guess don't get him. If you really don't like parts forming, but it's pretty fine. Just keep the swords attached to him. Don't lose him. Um, he has red. The red pops because this is all silver guy. Um, the Corvettes, some details, I don't know, I'm not a car guy. Um, the tires look nice, just everything looks nice. Um, cannot store the guns on him. The silver is nice, it pops. Now let's bring in his G1 counterpart, Sideswipe, Kingdom Sideswipe, with a custom spoiler. Hold on, here we go. And, um, they look good together. Uh... Uh, yeah, let me just take that off for now. That's how big they are. And... Sideswipe's actually a pretty good fit. I can't get my hands off of him. He's pretty good. Um, he got me back into the studio series line. And so... I blame him for that. <laughs> um, so that's my thoughts on him. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.